I got into the financial industry business mainly for my father. My dad was a certified public accountant, worked for a large accounting firm and had his own business for a while. So I always knew I wanted to get into finance to some degree. I actually met Wes at one of his educational seminars. I just was really taken in by Wes's knowledge and just the way he educates, how, how detailed he was. And I just, I wanted to learn more. What happens a lot of times that I've seen in our industry is more of a salesperson, they're only gonna to talk to you about one particular thing. Well, that may or may not be the best fit for the clients. We put the client first, and I believe that getting to know clients personally, when they are able to call in and get someone right away, it helps them feel more comfortable knowing that they can reach out to us and we're there to take their calls and answer all their questions and meet any need that they have. Having a solid relationship with our clients is paramount because it's a nervous time for them. And I have found that complexity leads to confusion. Confusion lacks confidence. And so helping clients to understand what they have in their portfolio is very important to me. Making certain that they are a part of the decisions that we make and that they understand why we're looking to make those decisions is also very important to me. When I sit down with a client, it's very comfortable for me to get to know them, talk to them, learn what their concerns are, enjoy getting to know them more on a personal basis. I know that, you know, talking about your personal finances is awkward, but we know it's very important. We should be doing 20% of the talking and 80% of the listening. So it's a discovery process. So you're discovering in that first meeting, what are the needs, the goals, the wishes? Because if we know the needs, the goals, and the wishes, then we can then do our job to create a plan to ensure that their wishes are met, their goals are met, and they have financial success.